was everything to you. You know what I mean? I was about like nine years old running around the corner. But this this right here, man, is everything. It's still it's still some, a place that I gotta come to and it's something that I feel every time, man. And when I come out here, I see the homies out here. You might not see them, but I see them. You know, I see dead people. You know what I mean? The corner is like, it's like everything, man. It was it was everything. Now it's you know the corner might be your cell phone, might be a trap house, might whatever. But this was everything to me, and this is where I first started, and I entered the street culture, you know, because I was looking for you know I was looking for the attention and looking for, you know, just the acceptance. And this is where you got it from the corner, you know what I mean? But to be to be out here, man, it is like it hurt me every time I come through it because I see him. Like y'all, you know, you look right here. You see a block. You just see. You see some steps. You see. No, I'm. I'm seeing them right here. I'm seeing them standing here. I see the clothes they got on. I see the music. I hear the music that's playing. It's like it's an era. These cars ain't these cars. These cars is you know, uh, Pontiac six thousands and, and Chevettes. It's different cars. I see the. Every time I come, I just see it. And it's hard. You, you'll never be able to see it because you ain't. You know, you don't understand. But it's like. It's like we gave everything for the corner. The corner was everything for us. And when I say the corner, I'm just not talking about a location. I'm talking about a mindset, an approach, the streets. It was like everything. And, and just to see the corner and see how it, how years later, it just be like, nobody's there. Like nobody there. This, this is what we lived and died for. And it's like, nobody there. Nobody owned nothing. Nobody bought nothing. It's like nobody there. Everybody I named, they dead. Everybody I named is dead, you know? And those that ain't dead is in the penitentiary. Some of us still out here. You know what I mean? But everybody that I named, Lil Steve, Smoke Glow, T-Bob, uh, uh, Rundy, Bud Love, Uncle Warren, you named it. It was right here. Uh, they gone. Everybody, Baldy, Man Man, everybody's dead. Everybody's dead, man. And for me to be here, it's like, it's always emotional for me to be here, man. But I'm just thankful, man. Like, the corner was everything. The corner was love. The corner was family. The corner was violence, the corner was drugs, the corner was illegal activity. But it was a place that I came and it was like, when I came here, I just felt like, yeah, this is us. This is something that we had. And if you you was going through whatever you was going through in the house, if your family wasn't there, if your pop wasn't there, if you ain't had no support, you felt that on the corner. That's what we felt. Like we felt like it was love. You know, I see that shit every time I drive through here, no matter what nobody else see. I see, I see dead people, but you know, if something wrong, cool, but it's like, it's just a feeling, it's just a vibe, man. And I'm just thankful to be here right now, man. I'm thankful to be able to be out here and seeing life, utilizing the technology, being here for my family, being here for a lot of these dudes, you know, that I mentioned, they kids, see, you know, to see like, damn, you know, you know, it's just, man, to me, I can't never let yesterday go. No matter, no matter what's going on, I can never let it go. And uh, no matter where I go, and like, I, I always want to come back to the corner because I got to see my homies. And they be right here, man. They see me and I see them. So it's like, that's just my whole outlook, man. It's like the corner.